Hello, I'm Scott Brady with Overland Journal and Expedition Portal, and I am out here on a very cold Prescott morning with John Pangolinan. And he has built a very fun Ford Bronco. I mean, we have not seen a lot of these out on the trail. But what's also interesting about John is that he works with a lot of the components that we use in the field as well. So we're gonna talk about some of the equipment that he has attached to this vehicle. So what year is your Bronco? What's the model? It's a 2022 Ford Bronco Outer Banks with the 2.7 liter motor. Well, and what is really interesting about this truck is that it is not a factory color. So what color did you pick? It's Ford Boxwood Green. Um, I took the inspiration from their older generation model Broncos. Sure. Well, it, it looks great. I mean, and, and clearly you like green and we're, we're all in green today. So we're, mat we're matching the Bronco, which is great. And I love how this white grill just kind of pops off of it. But you've done some tasteful modifications to the truck because these Broncos are so capable right from the factory that you actually don't need to do a whole bunch of changes to them. But the things that you have done, I think they make a difference. So it looks like you've got a small lift on here. What do you have for suspension? I have the Eibach Pro Truck 2 lift kit. Okay, and that looks like it's about two inches of lift. Is that about what it is? It's about two inches right now. Yeah, and then you've got a larger diameter tire on there. Now, what tire did you pick for this truck? This is a Toyota Tires Open Country AT3 tire. What I noticed with that tire, the all terrains across the board are getting so much better. For the longest time, we really just kind of had one kind of all terrain that everybody picked. And now there's so much competition in the space that the manufacturers are really having to step up their game. So a couple things that I noticed with those tires was heavy siping. So in situations like this where we've got deep snow and a lot of intermixed ice and low traction conditions, that that siping really makes a big difference. Have you found that for you as well? Absolutely. I think, you know, especially in the conditions like today, they came in handy. The, the three peak mountain snowflake rating on the tires, I could feel like it grip really well. Yeah. Um, it, I didn't, uh, as we drove today, I didn't feel any too much slippage or anything like that. I felt complete confidence. Yeah, it looked like you had good line holding as well as the trail got a little bit sloped. And that was also a problem in the past is it was so hard to get a mountain snowflake rated all-terrain that was a little more aggressive. So it seems like everybody's really stepping up their game. So the tires look great. And then talk to me about the, the wheels you put on here as well. These are 1552 analog wheels. You know, they have like that uh, kind of classic steely look to them. Yeah, and, and I love it. And they're white, so. It... The fact that you can get a an aluminum wheel now that looks like an old school steely, they look great. Thank you. And then it looks like in the back, you've done some things to organize the vehicle a little bit better. What did you install in the rear of the vehicle? In the rear, I have the goose gear uh, plate system for the, the cargo area. I have their tailgate table as well and their camp kitchen which has a Dometic fridge in the back. Yeah and I, I mean it looks really well organized and with you being a photographer you also have to be able to organize all your photo kit too. Absolutely so you know the goose gear uh, plate actually helps because I throw my my cases and I have uh, pelican cases yeah. I have their cargo cases and it just keeps everything kind of neat and organized and, and accessible because that cargo area, as you know, it's pretty small. There's not a ton of space, especially with the, the fridge in there. So every little bit of uh, cargo capacity helps. And then is this a factory bumper or what's the story on this front bumper? Yeah, this is actually a Ford factory bu bumper. You know, yeah, it a lot looks of great. great details, like such as a, the Bronco names on the on the on the bolts here yeah and, and it, good quality recovery points you've also got some accessory lighting here as well yeah i have the baja designs lights there for, just for extra illumination at night and you know i just wanted to keep everything factory because it, one it looks good i mean this they, they did a great job the engineers there and then i wanted to keep all of my sensors working well and one of the things that i find that people make the mistake of is in general is they put too many things on their vehicle so then it overloads them the bronco doesn't have a big payload to begin with so not overloading the vehicle but the second thing is this is such a beautiful classic looking vehicle why make it look modern or why make it look so different that it takes away all of its charm absolutely you know for me i, I wanted to keep it simple and just make it as a you know, just stick to what the engineers and the designers had in mind yeah. and, and not stray too far, as well as I know what, what type of driving I do. I know what kind of conditions I'm in. This is my daily driver, so sure. I didn't want to attract more attention than it, than it already gets with accessories and things like that. Sure. So 
you know, it, it really is just a, it's just a great truck overall. Well, good job, John. It, it is it is so fun to now start to see these Broncos on the trail and going and doing adventures around the country and hopefully around the world. So thanks for showing us your truck today. Thank you. Forever, I always felt 